first mode's goals with the SCG project is to deliver the first of its kind liquid hydrogen powered race car for the Baja 1000 race in Mexico. Uh, Complementary to that is also a mobile refueling system that can provide that liquid hydrogen to the race car across the course. So the Baja 1000 is uniquely challenging because it is 800 miles to 1,000 miles long. It takes 30 to 50 hours to complete nonstop. It goes through roads, dirt, gravel, sand, uh, areas where there's zero infrastructure. If anything goes wrong, there's no one there to help you. The, this trip for the 2021 Baja 1000 is to get that first-hand experience again. So we're actually sending uh, two halves of our team here. We have a four-person sort of observer team that will be in Ensenada looking at the race start, the logistics of setup, and then also we're going to travel to pit stop one where we'll actually observe the vehicle, pull in, do the activities in the pit stop, and then depart. Um, that's the, the job of that four-person team. We're also embedding two folks in what they call chase crews. Those are crews that are actually going to travel earlier the day before race start to further down the peninsula where other pit stops are and be set up in advance. And then those cars actually follow the race vehicle all the way to the finish at La Paz. So those two individuals will also be able to see uh, how the other dynamics play out as the vehicle travels even further down the course any delays or interactions or you know, traffic pileups that happen on the race course, which are part of the Baja 1000, they'll get a chance to see some of those dynamics and potential uh, uh, pitfalls for later uh, when we come back next year with the hydrogen boot. I cannot wait for 321 Go. I'm so excited. There, there are a number of different classes of vehicles, and so I'm hoping we get to see um, as many of those starting lineups as we can.